Let's zoom in here on Terra Io. What do you think this activity means? So I think there's a couple things at play here. The first is, uh, you know, this is there is a difference between an algorithmic stablecoin versus a stablecoin that's backed one to one uh, with the U.S. dollar. And so, if you look at the comparison between USDC and USDT Tether, uh, UST is a blend of both Luna and UST, which is minted and burned in order to maintain that one to one peg. What happened this weekend is we saw a large motivated seller go into the market and depress that USD price and depeg the algorithmic stablecoin, causing uh, an initial drop down to, it was roughly 0.8 uh, cents on the dollar. And really, why is that concerning? It's really concerning because the Luna Foundation Guard, which manages all of these applications on top, also manages a yield pool called Anchor. Uh, and Anchor has been uh, generating over 20% yields, now 18% yield for a number of personas, anywhere between retail to institutional. Uh, and so what happens is you had uh, roughly 17 billion of total value locked in Anchor, now drop uh, significantly due to that deep pegging because people were getting liquidated uh, once that peg was no longer one-to-one. -one. And you saw the Luna Foundation have to engage in order to repeg that stablecoin, and as you mentioned, uh, yesterday saw that peg drop all the way down to 60 cents on the dollar. Meantime, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen brought up Terra recently and talked about stablecoins more broadly as a risk to financial stability. Take a listen to what Yellen had to say. Terra USD um, experienced a run and had declined in value. And, um, well, so... It, I, I think that simply illustrates that this is a rapidly growing uh, product and um, that there, there are risks to financial stability and we need a framework that's, that's appropriate. Aya, what's your response to that? We need a framework to far more than uh, just stable coins in crypto. Uh, and I would say, you know, this strengthens the approach towards stable coins like USDC, uh, which is now 40 billion in market cap, uh, as well as USDT, which is 80 billion in market cap. You've also seen other algorithmic stable coins like Frax uh, gain in traction. I think the largest question here is really uh, whether or not it's algorithmic or it's one-to-one -one peg, uh, and whether or not investors, uh, you know, they have faith in the algorithmic stablecoin. But again, going back to Anchor, if you look at where that 17 billion now sits, uh, earlier today, it was less than $7 billion left in Anchor, still decreasing, really reflecting that I don't think the retail and institutional investors have much faith that that peg can maintain algorithmically in a decentralized fashion. You know, there's a question here, and you do see UST dropping once again, removing that peg even further at 79 cents, according to Coinbase prices. So you still see that volatility into today, even when you see Bitcoin recovering a little bit. So I, I'm wondering here, what broader ramification is there, especially for DeFi, as the, as the market starts to move forward here? I think the difference is really, if you take, for example, Maker and Dai, you had a number of these potential runs happen historically, but the market has corrected and shown uh, resilience through those market volatility terms. Uh, overall, crypto itself, as you mentioned, Bitcoin, ETH, we've stayed relatively range bound last week and will likely continue to be range bound had it not been uh, this anchor run uh, for the money. And so what we'll likely see is we'll likely see that capital go into other forms of yield generating assets. I think right now what we're hearing across the desk is all institutional clients want some level of yield and flat is the new up. And so if you can maintain a flat return uh, relative to what's happening in public markets and crypto, that is what your LPs are looking for. And so they'll find it either in swaps, derivatives, and structured products, and, and that's really where we're focused. 